To me, death isn't very scary. It's a little strange, considering that pretty much everyone thinks death is terrifying, but over the course of a couple of years I've gradually lost my fear of the big black void. I don't subscribe to any one religious belief, and from what I know I'm in the camp of just disappearing after you die. I'm not afraid of any hell, either, if that turns out to be the truth. Suffering requires life to matter, and if I'm suffering, I'm living. So whatever happens to me after I die, I'm prepared for it. Basically what I want to point out is this. Death in the view of naturalists and atheists is the exact same thing as death in the eyes of those who believe in union with God after you die. There is no difference between the eternal lights out and the eternal relationship with the ultimate being, whether that be nirvana or Allah. It's a little hard to make clear when all I have to describe it is words, but the idea is that a regression into a pre-feeling state via death can be viewed from different angles to mean different things. Heaven isn't going to be a rich, luxurious lifestyle where there's nothing to do but whatever you love the most. That would be boring. Anything done over and over again can become torture eventually. And in order to sustain eternal life of happiness, there needs to be an eternal amount of change. And hell if that isn't just what we're experiencing down here on planet Earth. Heaven is a state of mind, not a place. You shouldn't be afraid of death. I don't have much force to my claim because I'm only a kid who happened to have an enlightenment experience, but in my book death isn't something you should run from. Maybe pain. Pain is a good thing to run away from, in some cases at least. But not death. Not the end of your life, because the end of your life is just the beginning of an eternal state of at rest. Imagine what it felt like before you were born. Can you remember that feeling? Before you even conceived? Of course you can. Everyone can. It's not so much a memory as it is a blank of memory. What were you doing during the French Revolution? The Crusades? If you can remember that, which I'm sure you can, you can understand what it feels like to be dead. No memories. No pain. No suffering. Nothing but blackness and a void of anything that represents anything else. The point I'm trying to make here is that death isn't something scary. It isn't something we should be afraid of, because we've all been dead for most of our time on this planet Earth. Our molecules existed four billion years ago, scattered across the planet, and even though we don't think we have memories from that point in time, we really do, though we just don't know how to interpret them normally. Life is just a little blip in the sea of death that pervades the universe. Everything is dead. We're dead, and once we realize that we can stop being afraid of this thing called death, which is really just a change of phase like how water turns into steam, or how iron melts in a furnace, we've all been dead all along and there's nothing we can do about it. That's my understanding of the topic, at least. I can't claim to have interpreted anything from any sacred text. There are people who understand those a whole lot better than I do. And besides, those texts can mean whatever you want them to mean if you want my cynic's point of view. Which isn't really much of a point of view anyways. Death will come to us all, and once we die, we'll just return to that place we were 200, a 1,000, a million years ago, and which we've been in for most of our lives.